speak. African-American poet James Baldwin once said in a New York Times article in March 1965, in the case of the American Negro, from the moment you were born, every stick and stone, every face is white. Since you have not yet seen a mirror, you suppose you are too. It comes as a great shock around the age of five or six or seven to discover that the flag to which you have pledged allegiance along with everybody else has not pledged allegiance to you. And I say to the family of Tamir Rice that we pledge allegiance to you, to the family of Sandra Bland and to Mike Brown and the citizens of Ferguson, we pledge allegiance to you. Though it may seem as if the government has forsaken you, we pledge allegiance to you. We stand in solidarity with you. To the family of Eric Garner in Staten Island, New York, to the family of John Crawford in Beaver Creek, Ohio, we pledge allegiance to you. Although at times a large part of me wants to give in to despair and think this is just the way it is, we can't overturn this great tsunami of pain and violence and suffering. At the end of the day, I must turn to hope. I must believe that we can do better. And it takes all of us standing up and pledging allegiance to those who have been murdered without retribution, without justice. It takes all of us saying enough, shut it down, shut it down, so that we can build up a new reality, a new hope, a new vision, where white police officers don't get to kill black children, where justice is for all people, where the flag we pledge allegiance to pledges allegiance to all of us. And we can do it. I swear we can. I swear we can. But only if we pledge allegiance to the lives lost, the families devastated, the futures destroyed. Only if we pledge allegiance to Tamir and Sandra and Michael and Trayvon. So in the midst of our grief, I am asking you, each of you, to stand with me and pledge allegiance to this forgotten nation that must hold our heartbeat and our breath and our passion and our prayers and our action. Amen.